This video is sponsored by Artlist. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create an old film frame overlay in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. An old film frame overlay can add a nostalgic, cinematic touch to your videos. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have got a stock footage from Artlist. Artlist is an all-in-one platform for video creators, providing you with the highest quality digital assets made by leading artists worldwide. With Artlist, you can access a vast library of high-quality music tracks, sound effects, footage, and templates. Artlist offers a user-friendly website interface, making it easy for you to browse, search, and discover the perfect assets for your projects. Once you find the right track, you can download it and use it in your project without worrying about any licensing issues. Artlist takes care of all the legalities, giving you peace of mind and freeing up your creative energy. From YouTube videos to films, commercials, and everything in between, Artlist licenses their music for all types of projects. It's the perfect companion for enhancing your visual storytelling and capturing the essence of your creative vision. Visit Artlist.io today and start creating with the power of music at your fingertips. So, let's back to the tutorial. First of all, from the project panel, we have to create an adjustment layer. And then, let's click on OK. After that, drag and drop the adjustment layer to the timeline. Now, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a Lumetri color effect. Let's drag and drop the Lumetric color effect to the adjustment layer. And then, go to the Effect Controls panel to customize the Lumetric color effect. Let's open the Basic Correction parameter. Now, let's make the temperature parameter value around negative 29. And then, let's make the saturation parameter value around 80. After that, we have to make the exposure parameter value around negative 1. Next, let's make the contrast parameter value around 40. And then, we have to make the highlight parameter value around negative 70. Now, let's make the shadows parameter value around 100. And then, let's make the whites parameter value around negative 70. And lastly, let's make the blacks parameter value around negative 1. In the next step, we have to open the creative parameter. From here, we have to select the Kodak Film Color Profile. This film profile was made by Adobe. Alright, now you can see the changes on the program monitor. In the next step, let's move over to the Effects panel to apply another effect. This is a grid effect. Let's drag and drop the grid effect to the adjustment layer. And then, go to the Effect Controls panel to customize the grid effect. Firstly, let's make the X anchor parameter value around 1137. And then, let's make the Y anchor parameter value around negative 16. After that, we have to make the X corner parameter value around 1748. Next, let's make the Y corner parameter value around 1233. Now you can see, there are three lines on the screen. Next, from the color parameter, we have to change the color. I am going to select black color. You can use any color that you like. And then, from the blending mode parameter, we have to select multiply. Now you can see the changes on the program monitor. In this way, you can create lines on the screen. Next, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then, we have to move the time indicator 20 frames forward. And now, let's make the opacity parameter value around 50%. After that, click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. And then, move the time indicator 13 frames forward. After that, make the opacity parameter value around 0%. Again, move the time indicator 10 frames forward. Next, make the opacity parameter value around 50%. In the next step, let's select all the keyframes and copy them. And then, move the time indicator a few seconds forward. Now we have to paste all the copied keyframes. In this way, let's paste the keyframe again. Alright, the GERD effect customization is complete. Let's move over to the effects panel to apply another effect. This is a rough and edges effect. 
Let's drag and drop the Roughen Edges effect to the Adjustment layer. After that, move over to the Effect Controls panel to customize the Roughen Edges effect. Firstly, from the Edges Type parameter, we have to select Cut, and then let's make the border parameter value around 243. This border parameter controls the roundness of the edges. Increase it for a softer, rounded look. Now you can see the black edges on the program monitor. Next, we have to make the edge sharpness parameter value around zero. The edge sharpness parameter controls the jaggedness of the edges. Lower values create a less distressed look. After that, let's make the fractal influence parameter value around zero. This fractal influence parameter allows for more complex edge shapes. For rounding black corners, you have to make the fractal influence parameter value zero. All right, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then let's click on this stopwatch icon of the evolution parameter to create a keyframe. Now let's make the evolution parameter value around 360 degree. And then we have to move the time indicator to the end position of the adjustment layer. Now let's make the evolution parameter value around zero degree. All right, in the last step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a directional blur effect. Let's drag and drop the directional blur effect to the adjustment layer. And then move over to the effect controls panel to customize the directional blur effect. Now let's make the direction parameter value around 90 degree. After that, let's make the blur length parameter value around two. All right, now we are done. As you can see on the program monitor, the old film frame overlay creation is complete. In this way, you can create an old film frame overlay inside Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.